We tried out another Arsenal FC hospitality package at the Emirates Stadium and here's how we got on. First up, made our way into the Armoury, which is the club shop, and it's the first time we've seen a DJ inside a megastore. Good vibes in the megastore, then we made our way back outside to have a look around the outside of the stadium. And gotta say, having visited both of the North London clubs in the Premier League, big fan of both of the stadiums. Back to hospitality and for today's package, we made our way through the club level north entrance where we did receive a programme on entry. Programme in hand, it was then upstairs to the different levels and there is escalator access. And as we approached the top of the escalators, there was a great welcome from hospitality staff. Really smart inside club level, which does stretch around the whole of the Emirates Stadium. And if you are so inclined, you can walk the whole way around. And there are loads of different areas in club level where you can relax pre-match and enjoy a drink with some seating. Speaking of drinks, we did make our way up to one of the many paid bars and in stock was Prime. As mentioned, loads of places to relax pre-match, but we had gone for an upgraded ticket, which did include a meal and some drinks. Made our way to the reception of the Woolwich restaurant, then a member of staff takes you to your allocated table. And we got lucky with a window seat. Took our first padded seat of the afternoon, then had a quick look at the three course menu. Everything looked amazing, and within about 10 minutes, the first course was served. We went for the jasmine smoked chicken breast, which was pretty tasty. Throughout the duration of pre-match inside the restaurant, there are unlimited drinks with table service, or you can go up and grab your own. Drink in hand, we did spot the waiter making his way towards our table with our main course, so we quickly took our seats. And for today's main course, we went for pie, mash, and vegetables. And this did come with our own personal jug of extra gravy. Really liked all of the food from the afternoon, but of the three courses, the main course was definitely our favorite. And after we had polished off our main course, it was then up to get our dessert. A good choice of cakes, fruits, and sweet treats. And good news because you can help yourself to as much as you like. Fortunately, I do have a sweet tooth, so I was in my element, but if you don't, there is a good selection of cheeses as well. Or if you fancy it, have both. Hopefully at this point you are full, then 15 minutes before the start of the match, it's a good idea to leave the restaurant. And make sure you know where you're heading at half time because inside club level, you do get a complimentary drink. Our advice would be to get back into the lounge as soon as the halftime whistle goes because the drinks do go quickly. And there is a good choice of drinks, including soft drinks and beer. Back to before the match and make sure you check your ticket because you're going to want to know what part of club level your seat is located in. As mentioned, club level stretches around the whole of the stadium so you could be located in any part. There is then a short walk down some steps and to your allocated padded seat. And make sure you do check your ticket because also included is a free £5 voucher, a stadium tour and a museum ticket. Tickets for club level plus the restaurant upgrade are from €249, Euros, with club level only from €149 Euros bought through Champions Travel. Where should we go for the next padded seat?